Hello everybody. So today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is about double integrals. So now I will show you how to answer. Because we don't have the formula to do this integration, but we can reverse the orders dy ds into ds dy so because we just reverse the orders that means we need to change the new bounds in here first we need to write about dy and ds about y we see that y is greater than or equals to s and smaller than or equals to number one about the s so s is greater than or equals to number zero and smaller than or equal to number one in here now we need to graph about y equals to s so the graph should be like this y equals to number one the graph should be like this So we see that y is richer than or equal to s, so they should be in here, and smaller than or equal to number one, they should be in here. That means the area we need to concentrate, that should be about this one, because from zero to number one, so number one, that should be in here. So this one, that is about S. This one that is about y because we reverse the orders, so we need to put about the new one bounds for the s. About s, we have s equals to y, and we see that s is greater than or equal to number zero in here. So the bounds for the S, they should be about number 0 is smaller than or equal to S and S is smaller than or equals to Y. About Y, that's about this one. Y is greater than or equals to number 0 and smaller than or equals to number 1. Now, We put the function going here. This one does about the s. So s is greater than number zero in here and smaller than or equal to y. We put y in here. dy that is about from zero to number one. Next, the interaction of this s. For this one, we have S. From 0 to Y. So I will put Y going here. Number 0 going here. So we have y minus 0. So in this situation, I will put about y. Next, we need to use about integration by substitution. So I will put about u equals to y square so we do first derivative for the both sides and we have the u equals to 2y dy but we don't have number 2 in here so we need to divide both sides by number 2 
and now we need to change the bounce when y equals to number 0 so that should be in here and I will put number 0 cone here to find the value of u so u equals to number 0 when y equals to number 1 so I will put number 1 cone here so u equals to number 1 and now we have the interaction from 0 to number 1 y square we change by u dy and y we change by du over number 2 So the interaction of side U, we have negative 1 over 2, and we have cosine U. And I will put about the bounds from 0 to number 1. So I will put number 1 and number 0 cone here. And now we have the final answer. Cosine of number 0, we have number 1, so we have 1 over 2. This is the end. Thank you for watching.